Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity there. It went Ops is acting up a little bit after this recent patch. Bottom right hand corner, we have Tartman starting as the Yellow Zerg. Upper right hand corner, we have Do Life starting as the Teal Terran. This is on Circuit Breaker, which I have not seen as of yet in this season of Hasui, but you've got the natural expansion. You've got the classic ramps leading up to a third that I honestly feel like it's a pretty solid map for Terran because you can see where you can easily secure three bases without too much trouble. Although versus Protoss, it's not too terrible for Zerg either. Uh, but one thing for Zerg is you do have to worry about map control, as always. But it's especially important here because the more actionable, actionable, the more prime expansions uh, are not blockable by just Lurker and Ramp, whatever not. So it feels like it's a little bit more lent towards, you can see, uh, holding this ramp with lurkers is inverted, which makes that a little bit more troublesome, particularly against mech pushes and things like that. So, point being a little bit tougher for Zerg. Looks like first scout is out for Tartman. I'm rooting for him again. This is do or die. Whoever wins this advances, whoever loses this is eliminated. And both these players, like I'm rooting for Tartman, but I hate to see do life eliminated as well. It looks like we are seeing an overlord first build from Tartman. Looks like he is going to go for the 12th hatchery rather than a 12th pool. No geyser out of due life. I don't know why he would in that stance at the build order. I'm just a little bit off <laughs> on this station commentary. Building that barracks. We'll see if he goes for a Rax into command center. There is going to be an opportunity for Tartman maybe to build some initial zerglings because he is going to be able to get this initial scout. First SCV making its way out in the map. Drone Moving out to scout as well. There's the 12th hatchery planting. It's going to take a while for this drone to cycle back because this overlord's going to have to maneuver quite a ways out of position to confirm. So actually, is he just going to sidle up? So he's going to sidle up and hold right there. So the drone might actually have to do a full cycle before there's complete confirmation as to the location of Dewlife based on when Dewlife sent that scout out because we're not going to see a lot of activity at that natural expansion uh, rapidly. We do have a spawning pool dropped. It looks like we're going to see a three hatch or potentially uh, three hatch before gas or potentially a hydralisk or lurker build once again from Tartman because at the moment he is neglecting his gas, saving up minerals, maybe to grab a third base. It looks like he is potentially going for an interior three hatch. Second SCV has been sent out. That overlord this time should have spotted that SCV as it's making its way out actually holding mid-map. I wonder if this is... I assume this isn't going to be some form of proxy. Yeah, because we got that command center being built. Still no gas grabs. So Tar Tartman is going against a little bit more economically beneficial opener. Should be able to draw that drone back now to his natural expansion. SCV finding the base and is critically going to be able to see that it's an in-base third hatchery. So he's either going up against the old school three hatch Mutalisk or potentially three hatch Hydra Lurk. So, tar so a critical thing is, is to get that commsat station up and scan and see if you can catch that hydralis stand. That can be a big win early. And it has been a while since Zerg players have played this style. It was an effective style in the past. One of the common counters to it, though, has been the five racks plus one meta. That being said, the plus two academy press against the front to force a couple drones as far as the old school, old school way of handling this meadow was standard to just eke out a few additional drones that have to be forced to build those uh, creep colonies on the front. Mutation to layer before that third hatchery is complete. We do have three marines that were making their way down, but thinking better of the attack as some zerglings are spotted, it looks like that SCV is going to be able to press its way out otherwise. SCV is transferring to that natural expansion for do life. A canopy being constructed, and this will kind of be the critical moments as that Hydralisten is being planted in between. And I'm actually surprised the hatchery didn't go to this lower left-hand corner over here. More towards the front, or even pocketed in this corner, but basically you kind of want that creep spread where the Hydralisten was a little bit harder to comsat. But Academy's finished. It looks like comsat's being delayed for Stim. I'm going to be interested to see if do life opts for comsat altogether. This is looking like it's going to be three hatch lurker hydra once again. I have seen this be effective recently. Jadong actually pulled out a game I saw where this was effective play and we saw Tartman win game one with this. A bunker 
has been constructed on the front. However, it is just two barracks play thus far. Two medics now taking the front. Zergling speed has not been revealed. Do we have the Zergling speed upgrade? It looks like Zergling speed might have been skipped altogether to push up tech. Second gas being grabbed. Now Zergling speed. Okay, it finished being revealed. And pretty big information for do life right there. Still not going for the compsat station. I think he's just presuming the build right this second. Lurker tech about halfway finished. More Zerglings making their way up. Just having this Zergling threat may allow Tarpman to ignore the something colonies on his front. There's the first comsat catching that natural expansion. Critically does not see the Hydralis den. At least I don't. Yeah, not in range of the Hydralis den. So he doesn't have... So first of all, that would have been typical to say, okay, is this going to be all in Mutalisk in a standard build order? And that's usually what you're checking for something colonies there. Here with this many Zerglings... If Dulife moves out with this Medic Marine Force and gets caught out of position, he could end up losing the entirety of this attack force. Ooh, takes out Tartman's Overlord that was exposed over that ledge. Actually, he was thinking about that, but didn't mention it in time. But that puts Tartman in the red. That's actually not that big a hit. Second Comsat. Oops, wrong person. This time, seeing that Hydralis Den, which should I trigger... Shouldn't trigger this. A move out? Okay, so this could be disastrous depending on engagement. If, it's ha if the engagement happens right here on the bridge, it should be okay. But if Tartman moves these Zerglings from the north to the south, this could be a surround on the Medic Marine Force with the Zerglings alone, killing the Medic Marine Army of Dulice. And it looks like that might happen. The Medic Marines trying to dodge the way out. The Zerglings being thin, but the Marines getting obliterated. A huge misstep from Dulife. Moving those troops, just misreading the situation all together. More medic, more marines pushing out. That is going to save this marine, uh, the medic force. But lurkers have already actually, I actually love lurkers on this map now that I think about it because of the bridge containment on Terran. The Zerglings continuing to press forward. It's going to be a minute before Comsat's here, so Tartman getting a degree of soft and stain. There is one Comsat that's able to take out two lurkers, but three still remain at a fairly close position. Continuing to press forward where they're really, yeah, going to be able to do a lot of damage at range. And now Dulife might want to think about an engineering bay. Looks like he is going to get, he's going to go for the machine shop, maybe siege tank push option against this. Does if There's the turret on the front. But Tartman able to grab that bottom left hand base, transferring some drones that direction already, is going to be able to secure that third gas in time at a pretty solid drone count. Evolution chamber, tech to hive while all this is happening and in a very comfortable position after the Zerglings able to swat the front. Now, if Dulife is able to just micro this really, really well, he might be able to sneak out and pick off these lurkers to open up the map and go from there. Also, I want to say this before I lose the opportunity, Tartman++. Plus Plus. Fourth barracks being constructed, science facility, he'll know what that means. Science facility being built in the background, siege tech, being upgraded control tower on the way as well. These are going to be critical moments from Tarpman as to whether he's going to be able to continue this containment, have the troops to do so, does have that third gas up. It's going to be a race between getting this hive up, the defilers up, the siege tank move out, and the science vessel spawning. I think Tarpman's going to have it. Looks like he's going to go ahead and draw these troops a little bit away to the third that is opening up the front. Do life using that opportunity to push forward and Overlord is exposed and going to die as a result. The Lurker is pushing and able to get, a well, able to damage a little bit, but that's going to leave an exposed natural expansion. They don't know that two Lurkers in a single creep colony is gonna be sufficient as the Defiler Mount is nowhere near finished. However, Dulife is not making a beeline towards that natural expansion, is instead moving across the middle of the map, maybe looking for a third base. We have whole position Lurkers along that right-hand side. A science vessel isn't here. It looks like Siege Tanks have comps out of the front, cleaned up the lurkers there. And right now, do life rather than using this big medic marine force and those siege tanks to press the natural, is hunting for the third and finds nothing at the six o'clock base, is fanning out additional troops, might is gonna find a free overlord here that will put Tartman in the red potentially, but more lurkers being built at the natural now. They are not out of egg yet, and there's hold position lurkers out of position to the north. I don't see them withdrawing, and now it is a free-for-all. Finally, the Lurkers spawning, burrowing one up, two of them dying. But Dulife not able to breach the natural. 
single marines has uh hassling some overlords out in the field tartman trying to dive them out of position unfortunately he can't support them right this second but he does have that defiler mound up consume about halfway finished do life regathering his troops has several siege tanks to maybe end the game this overlord looks like it's going to get picked off that overlord looks like it is in safe cover lurker has one kill of what remains of that marine that was wandering bottom left do life looks like he's rather than pressing the natural expansion is going to try to engage bottom left we do have a nidus canal here some lurkers morphing as long as tartman doesn't stack his lurkers at location it will be a tough push up and as soon as he has a defiler and is able to press it through he should be in a good position looks like he's upgrading plague however rather than darks uh, rather than con or sorry he must have consumed already finished the defiler is currently waiting outside the natural it's going to have to dive through very very rapidly comms adding that single lurker taking a lot of damage a defiler moving up with some zerglings he's gonna have to pull back momentarily maybe to get a consume i don't know that he has energy and the zerglings dying on the field yeah unfortunately okay they're able to drop a dark swarm which is gonna buy him some time to get some more reinforcements look like one lurker outside of stream range but do life engaging bottom left rather than natural expansion which is allowing tartman to stick in this in this game do life does have an opportunity to grab additional bases right here so now it's misfire it's kind of an interesting combo where we have misfire and additional none of the scourge hitting there. that's unfortunate where we have the misfire rate and the uphill of uh, uh, the dark swarm and uphill i think it's what whatever the percentage is i'm blanking right this second i think it's two thirds tartman grouping up gets a dark swarm on all of us it doesn't look like do life was watching for that half second so scrambling his troops away the zerglings do it looks like they're potentially adrenal upgraded here so doing some damage now do life grabbing that third should be comfortable grabbing that third for the time being but tartman at equalized worker counts should be able to grow an army pretty significantly and with all of those siege tanks that have been produced that's going to keep the science vessel count much lower so if tartman can step on the gas get a lot of troops out get some oh man dropping some plague that's really going to soften these troops up the zerglings now scooting up and just sneezing on these troops and wiping them out finally a science vessel pressing forward to equalize things a bit needs to be very wary because it's way out in front there Tartman actually grabbing the natural picking off the science vessel and claiming some territory bottom left with just a single lurker a handful of defilers so it looks like it's going to be lurkerling plague which I haven't seen which I kind of like actually siege tanks now moving up to the natural expansion a single Sultan colony going to fall we only have that single science vessel as well it is way forward Tartman needing to defend both fronts third base nearly constructed for do life natural expansion zerglings in the way they're melting as there's no defiler on point and finally some dark swarm being dropped another nidus canal being constructed tartman still trying to defend but those siege tanks have wiped out uh, the medic marines and siege tanks have wiped out a lot of troops tartman still hovering around 70 supply looking to see if there's going to be a follow-up plague using that dark swarm for cover science vessel still remains solid do life fielding some more troops out tartman has four bases he's running on a good amount of hatcheries if he can just hold on get some good plagues off might be able to evict do life from all of his holdings and really start kicking up the gas but he needs to either take out one location or the other right now Unfortunately, these Hydalists aren't going to really help. Unfor oh, that could be a dead gas, potentially, if that gets focus fire. Do life moving in at two locations. And it looks like Tarpman doesn't have the filers to defend that lower natural. A lot of drones getting wiped out behind the natural of the main. So damage being done on both fronts. The Lurkers wiped out. And Tarpman calling GG right there. Unfortunate. It looked like he just had all the tools, but just couldn't quite get the multitasking there. very unfortunate hope you guys enjoyed it regardless i hate to see tartman get eliminated but i like seeing do life uh, proceed tartman plus plus regardless if you guys enjoyed it give a like and subscribe we are now going to move on to the round of 16 thanks for listening